Hey guys, it's your own boy, the one only Great Dane, back with Brawl Stars. Just finished the first AP test of the 2023 year, and I'm a bit tired, but still want to make the video the day that the new season released. I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what season it is. I was like 18, hopefully. Oh no, not this again. What? Well, hey, I, at least it's only 20 of the characters now, right? So I'm only one fifth the amount deaf I used to be. How many characters in the game? Is it like 60? Join us in the rum <laughs> jungle. Get exclusive skins, space player icons, pin me more. I for I don't know why, but for love of me, I can't even remember the term rumble jungle. It's just probably just AP tests on the brain, you know. So I actually love a lot of what just happens in the last season. I just don't know how I'm gonna even remember to talk about it. I'm really just looking for more of a quick video today just to go through uh, well, a little bit of last season, and then well, let's see how good this season looks. Okay, so let's first of all see if I was right. Okay, I'd, wait, what? Okay, so the jungle's called Rumble Jungle, but the season's called The Rescue? Because Maisie rescued Fang and Buster, I guess? A little confusing, but I guess I can work with that. Um, okay, so... The most significant change to the Brawl Pass this season that you guys are going to want to know about is this funny looking currency that started off the video for those of you who aren't familiar with the recent update about roughly a week-ish ago. So you'll notice that there's no more star points and we have these funny uh, star token looking things called bling where you can max out at 7,000 and what's really cool is essentially you can go to this thing called the catalog and it's got a bunch of different sections with bling you can essentially just buy you no, I can't say whatever you want because you'll notice legendary skins are like the one thing you can't buy with bling <laughs> this really like when I when I think of legendary skins evil Pam this Definitely the first one that comes to mind, you know, she's got the voice lines, the crazy textures, just a really cool skin. But if you want any of these legendaries now, even including these um, mecha skins that used to be for star points, you now need to spend gems. Like, I, I just, I, I wouldn't mind having mecha golden crow, but what's weird is, you'll notice, in order to get gold mecha crow, I gotta get mecha crow... I also got a, like, I don't know, it's weird, because I, I ha you also have Golden Mecha Bow because of the Star Point offer, but I didn't have to buy Mecha Bow. I, I think it's just weird, because I have Night Mecha Crow, and I didn't have to buy Mecha Crow, <laughs> so, I, you know, I actually kind of like Night Mecha Crow more than Gold Mecha Crow anyway, and I like Gold Mecha Crow better than Mecha Bow, so I feel like I made the right purchasing decisions. But I feel it's weird that I have to spend 300 gems just to even look at Mecha Bow. Mecha Crow, I, I don't know. This is the only part of the update that I find a little strange is that there's no way to necessarily get legendary skins for bling, but I mean, you know, the Supercell's gotta get its money somehow, I guess. I, I don't know, something. But any, even as far as epic skins, why am I lagging so much? you can get for 5,000 bling, which is definitely pretty high, but also achievable for free players, like if you just really know you want that one specific skin. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I want to see something. I haven't actually checked this yet. I'm pretty sure vaulted skins are still vaulted. I'm trying... Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh my god. I guess... I guess they did unleash the vault too, because at least for a good amount of time it's really hard to get your hands on Caveman Frank. Or maybe, I have to wonder, is he only showing up here because I already have him, or because they're unvaulted? 
you guys might have to look into this because I'm, I'm trying to think of another vaulted skin off the top of my head, but I just can't. Maybe, maybe I'll think of one later. I don't want to waste too much time anyway. Um, let's see. So I guess I start by just uh, getting the pass I might here, be harmless, right? But I'm in no way harmless. So we have uh, Maisie here with her um, essentially fire extinguisher arm. Well, that's interesting. Looks like the Brawl Pass bundle now goes for 10 bucks instead of an extra amount of gems. Hmm. Really makes you think, doesn't it, guys? Actually, let me... This is something we have to investigate, isn't it? So we have the new Leopard Max skin is out for this season. A new free pin for... I believe it's Golden Week. There's just been a lot of great events last season. I really like the theme too. I've, I already broke the cap, guys. <laughs> okay. Ring out of bats. Hey, wait, let me. Yeah, I, I just thought something before we look at that. So usually, well, let me just go to Frank. Oh, he's epic. Yeah, so it, it used to have this, like, vaulted symbol up by the name. I guess the vault just doesn't exist anymore, guys. So if you're specifically looking out for a vault skin to come back, I, I guess you could just get it now. Interesting. Um, so I, I guess that's a plus. The one thing I might want to mention about the uh, catalog here is the OG Seasons 1 through 10, the developer team said that they weren't going to release the original skins however they might release like uh i'd have to look at it in a second okay so 170 gems for ten dollars i might or... be harmless but i'm in no way harmless okay so here's the thing it looks like unlocking the so it, it actually looks like just spending the $10 up front if you have it is now a better deal than the Brawl Pass. So I'm going to have to consider that for a second. Okay, I'm going to hold out, off on that until later to see if that's applicable to me. Usually I just get it, but it really doesn't make a difference at the current moment anyway. It's usually just some like flashy animation that says you have the Brawl Pass anyway, you know? So... I'm pretty sure the only thing they changed is now that you can buy pins in the catalog, you have bling in their places. So you got bling there, bling there. And I think that's actually it, surprisingly, for bling. And then, what about the pin pack at the end, you're probably wondering? Uh, I, I, I think they literally just like replaced it with coins. So was, uh, take it or leave it, I guess. I don't know. I mean, being able to buy the pins you want, I guess, is nicer than the pin packs in the first place anyway, right? Uh, so if we go to Tier 3 from last season, I'm pretty sure that really is like the only three spots on the season that they changed. Yeah, so pretty much everything else is the same besides the new season character, pins, and final skin. So let's have an actual look at the character. I've been seeing like ads for infinite mazy damage or something. I don't, I don't know. Ready to face the flames. And this has just been so much with the uh, update here. Now you see how it's done. Okay, so this, this character's kind of whack, so it the shot starts off slow and gets faster. I believe this one well, of the star powers is if it hits max range, it does more damage, which just kind of makes sense, I suppose. But the real interesting thing here now you see how it's done. is the super, so obviously if I do it here, it's probably going like, to instant charges. So the real question is how many characters do you need in order to get the super? Because obviously right here this looks dummy overpowered. Okay, so, 
Oh, okay. I, I think I get what they're saying now, so... I don't even know if I can do this here, but... If I could just get three... Okay, I see what they're saying now, so... If you play as Maisie in a regular match, and you're somehow able to get the entire enemy team into this honestly pretty huge super area, you could just keep cycling the super over and over again. So, the actual attack I'd say is maybe a little underwhelming. I, I think it's the super for this character that really makes up for it though. But again, this is just like level 1 Maisie, so I haven't looked at her gadget or anything yet either. I think this would be a pretty fun character to play, especially for just defensive capabilities. Uh, is there a way I think I have to look at the character on the other screen, but let's take a look at the unique skin for the... Ready to face the flames. Season. This is like jungle queen here. Uh, still can't look at the unique pin though. So it, it shoots off like a snake instead. I mean, I guess I prefer this to the other one. Just to have a look at the super, which is probably gonna be the most significant thing here, right? Okay, I'll, I'll admit that does look way cooler. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be a pretty fun character to play. Uh, God, so about season 17, like, seriously, where do I start? There's been so many changes. So I'd consider Bling technically a se 17 change, but it's obviously shown in the trailer, which, you know, I was trying to leave the link to in the description. But... I usually always try to consider things when they come out rather than which season they're meant for because it's just weird anyway. Um, okay, so the other significant thing is the... Oh yeah, I guess that's... So what 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 is going on with Power League, right? Because there's no star points, so how's that working? Oh, so that's another very significant change. Did I already get all of this? I, I don't... what? I wonder if I have to play one match to actually, like, get all of this. Because I haven't actually received all of this, obviously. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm guessing after one match I'll just get all of this. As well as the um, player icon here. Probably just giant bundle reward just for playing one match. I, I've never been tempted to actually, like, rank all the way to, like, I don't even know what you call this, just, like, super rank, <laughs> Brawl Stars rank, I mean, it's literally the Brawl Stars logo, before for star points, which essentially, back then, you could buy boxes, was just more progress, which, which was nice, but, like, if you, <sighs> solo mode was a mixed bag, so unless you could really get, like, a super good dedicated team together is, is pretty hard to achieve but uh, I, I wouldn't mind trying it now because solo mode assuming the matchmaking is actually decent the higher up you get the better it is to get with a good team and depending on the skill of the players you're with you know how you choose your team and such is gonna be a pretty determining factor so okay that's weird so our Power League exclusive skin season is Jaguar Spirit Meg, which I'm pretty happy about because I, I did want a new like Meg skin because having it come with the new mech. And let me show you guys the biggest change for Meg, the Meg rework. I actually have a video I'd like to um, post at some point where I just got this really crazy match with Meg from the rework because she just does feels a lot more powerful now, even though she got nerfed in some aspects. <laughs> I think just spamming supers <laughs> in the one training ground is probably one of the most fun things to do, right? Actually, hang on, I want to I wanna see something. I wonder if it's, is it 3 for Meg 2? 
Okay, so you, you can't infinite charge your super with the mag, it's probably like four, right? Oh, five, interesting. Yeah, so in, unless you're playing Meg in like, uh, Big Brawler or whatever it's called, with the, literally a Big Brawler, you're probably not gonna be able to do that in one swing. I mean, I, wait. I, I mean, I'm, I'm launching back into training grounds because I played this game, but I didn't really pay, pay too much attention to the actual details here, so it looks different. It shoots like giant fists. And then, I, I don't know, I, I don't know why, but in this skin, besides the shots, which are pretty decent, it, it doesn't feel too noticeable to me. Maybe that's just me from playing Meg and being more used to Meg from that perspective. I definitely prefer this one to the OG, though. I, I like the little, like, fish shoot-off. Okay. So this skin you can just get for free anyway, I'm pretty sure if you uh, win 60 rounds now. So, I wonder if Meg will then appear in the shop for zero star points, so it's essentially just getting her for free, but it works the same? I don't know, I'll probably have to update you guys in the next season video, because I'm just really busy at the moment. God, I, I've neglected to talk about last season a lot, because there's just so much. So I, I can't even really show you guys this without playing a match, but there's this whole thing where there's like a end of match review now, and then you can give people like a thumbs up if they did well, even on the enemy team. Um, they, it's also a little different in review, or battle log. It's a little different in replays now, for some reason. Like it just sticks around at the end instead of going to like a end screen. There's also the, um, they're essentially, what they're doing is this top dog thing where they're trying to fix showdown teaming. It's sort of working, not, not really. So, I, I played like Buzz, which is essentially one of my highest brawlers at 850 in top dog. It was just a match of like eight megs, <laughs> so <laughs> they, they, Without passive healing, they couldn't get their supers from each other, but they were just opting not to kill each other, which essentially made it the same issue anyway. So, Top Dog helps, and I think I like it more than normal showdown. And another thing I really liked during the last season was the um, Easter egg event thing. I, I know a lot of people were skeptical of that. The rewards were so-so, and... It's kind of annoying to get them, but I, I just liked having another goal in Showdown and just murdered everyone. Which which technically isn't even the goal at all, it's just surviving too, so... Which is why I also kind of miss Showdown Plus, but they've already said that's probably never coming back, so... And then we got Hot Dog Mode now, which is alright. I mean, I definitely say there's kind of a bias towards characters that have healing abilities anyway, like Barley could just throw his attack and always be able to heal, so, you know, it's interesting strategy with this one, I like the little gray being beat up <laughs> animation, is pretty funny, I'm sure they chose him just because he already has a cane, um, jeez, I'm trying to think if there's any other significant changes, I mean, there's a lot of significant changes, there's this bling, the replays, um, I mean, there's, there's a lot of, like, uh, oh, um, f like, events that I enjoyed, so Golden Week, technically, is part of last season, but also this one, because it's in between, is kind of weird, so they introduced Unlimited Lives on the, on April Fool's, but the caveat was that you had to <laughs> play with randoms. Like, like, it literally wouldn't let you start the match if you tried to play with members in your home screen as a team. It just wouldn't let you start the match. So you had to play with randoms, and it was called the Good Randoms Challenge. And actually, like, the skin... It's a shame they never added the other Good random skins they might, but it's like Popstar Janet or something. I mean, just... Just look at the flashiness. This skin is insane. Um, 
so there's new types of challenges with unlimited lies for those of you who are triggered with not being good enough to get through a challenge maybe you can actually do that now so that's pretty cool um, maybe I should talk about last season's brawlers <laughs> okay so Willow I've actually I think she's actually kind of OP in some senses especially in like brawl ball where she can score with the enemy team weirdly enough I just like they just released um, obsession and dive so I haven't even had a chance to try obsession yet which I really want to because playing a uh, solo showdown having people run into the smoke is just way too much fun and I haven't even got to do that with 25% movement speed yet so that is that is gonna make people so mad it's just gonna feel really overpowered and then there's of course uh, RT Wait, what the heck? Guys, are you... Hang on. Why am I brawler sorted by... Rarity? You know, I, I thought that one was weird, because... Uh, <laughs> on my mobile device, I had it sorted by... Trophies. I was wondering why RT was at the bottom. Okay, well, anyway. RT... I don't know, a lot of people felt that he's overpowered. I, he can be, but his, his super is very specific use, and the dev team has considered even changing his super, so that might be something to look out for. Because, again, it, it gives him like this crazy double tap, which they also nerfed, so it's slower. You can't just spam as much anymore. And the second recording gadget helps a lot with that being overpowered which is probably why they reduce the attack time he is most uh, pro players use him as like a long range so again the uh, super is very specific you see he, he's pretty fun to play though I, I personally enjoy willow more as a character I, super is very interesting to use it, if you use it at the wrong time it can actually benefit the enemy by just healing their team members so you got to be very strategic with it Okay. Uh, the one other thing I think I can help you guys with is if you guys have seen the videos on YouTube or, or really just anywhere I guess you know that Maisie is not the only character coming this season they're gonna release Hank as an epic brawler at some point so um, I, th I think um, Kairos or maybe it was Ray Brawlstar I remember someone saying that like your first epic brawler might be like half off or something but that doesn't mean if you've already unlocked epics it might just be the first one that you're going to unlock after the update so there's a chance it could be half off but um, then you'll notice I haven't collected the credits yet usually just the brawl pass alone is enough like if you have credits on your characters you probably collect them but if you guys plan on getting the brawl pass I would just hold on to your credits because I, I mean, unless you guys like really care about the fame, they're not going anywhere anyway. So you can get Hank immediately when he uh, debuts, I guess you could say, when he's released into the actual game. I think he's going to be a really interesting character to play. I, I think the game has honestly been getting very... Um, I, I just don't want to say it better in general, but very interesting. And I, I like the direction that they're heading for it. Not very often that you see a dev team that actually tries to respond to the community as much as uh, Brawl Stars. So it's, it's pretty cool. I really enjoy the bling implementation. I don't feel like I have to get gems as much anymore. And I also, I, I actually do like this Brawl Pass bundle thing for 10. So, I, I think I, now that I'm thinking about it, I do see the caveat here. So... While in essence you're not spending as much gems as you would to get the five tiers from before, you'll notice you're still getting that same like 90 gems from each season that you used to be. So in be essence, harmless, but I'm in no way harmless. instead of spending five dollars every brawl pass, if you recycle the gems you use, 
you're spending $10 every Brawl Pass, but you get to keep the gems. So, a very interesting distinction, I think. I'm trying to think of which is essentially better. I mean, I think the 169 is definitely better if you're just looking for like a budget option there because you're essentially spending half as much overall if you're only looking for getting the brawl pass and I have to wonder myself personally if I'm not spending the gems on brawl pass what am I spending them on because one thing I didn't talk about is you'll notice you can actually use the gems to substitute purchasing something else so <laughs> I, I could just blow all my gems right here on, on guard Rico but you can top up is what they're calling it with the bling so you can spend less gems overall <laughs> so 400 here really only saves me like nine gems but I mean if there's a skin you really want it can help so it, it, depending on how serious you are with the game I'd say if you're less serious, just get the 169, because again, uh, it's really only a five tier difference anyway, but it technically does give you the advantage of the last tier reward, which is um, 145 for, okay. So if, if you think of it this way, you're finishing the Brawl Pass five tiers earlier than you usually would. So you're actually getting five more of this for the ten dollars, which is okay, I guess. And if, if you consistently do that, you're getting five more of these every season, and you get to keep your gems, which is ninety, I believe, which is about half the cost of the brawl pass, which is why you'd only need to spend like five dollars every season. But uh, I think it is definitely going to come up to personal preference at the end, and. I think I'm going to need to think about myself, because usually I'm pretty gung-ho to buy the Brawl Pass here, but now that there's this new armless, implementation, no I don't know. I mean, just, like, is, this isn't something I've, like, disregarded armless, before, is it? Because no I feel like it's always, I'm going to have to look at my last season video, because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's never just cost, like, a straight $10. You'd, you'd just cost, like, slightly more than 169 gems, like 180 or, or something. But it's uh, very interesting, and I, I kind of like it, actually. Um, there's been a fair amount of balance changes. Oh, uh, the... I don't want to say the World Cup, because it's not quite there yet, but like the Brawl Stars eSports scene is on, and you can get those exclusive pins. I, I think I, if I can find them, they're always at the bottom here. It's just a lot of pins. I feel like they should find a better way to categorize the pins, maybe, because this is getting a bit clustered here. So we have this, like, Brock with sunglasses, and uh, what, is, what is essentially Penny. They're, they're like the more humanoid versions, I guess you could say, or different versions of the actual game characters, which is why they look slightly different than the regular ones like what you'd imagine the characters to be in real life I, I guess I, I don't know yeah, they're pretty cool exclusive pins you don't see too many people run around with them all you got to do is go to the Brawl Stars eSports page watch I, I can't really say technically you have to watch a certain amount of time but you have to vote on like the winning teams but watching the whole thing obviously does help you I'd, I'd say usually getting each reward takes and by reward I mean pin because it's actually a series of small rewards up to the pin. It takes like one, uh, one-ish live stream, which is about like six hours, which is definitely kind of a time investment, but you know, it, it, it really, again, it depends up to you guys how much you care about the game. So just something to keep an eye out on. Uh, geez, have I, have I covered everything yet? Probably not. Um, the other thing is a very significant change. Uh, it tells you you can collect bling from the brawl pass. So the trophy reset is what I'm getting at here. 
but I, they don't really have a specific way of telling you without just watching the video yourself. So your top 20 trophies, let me switch here, your top 20, wait, what? Am I crazy? What happened to my... Hang on a second. What? I know I didn't get, like, a crazy amount of sleep before... <laughs> before the AP test day, but... Something... Something seems off here to me. I don't know. What? Where is... How much did the, this doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Okay, I, I think I know what's going on here, so. I think they took all my brawlers, top 20, which are all above 800, I guess. And they lo lowered them to 799. So now, Gray just so happens to be my top brawler in trophies because he was number 21 in terms of ranking. So I was confused because it's like, well, I know Buzz is my top trophy brother. Where the heck did he go? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have to rewatch the video because I, I didn't even see how much bling I got from that. Probably not too much. I mean, it, it helps, but you also have to keep in mind what this means. So your top 20 brawlers will give you bling every two weeks. So it's back on the two week schedule. And let me see if I can. Should be here. Yeah, so every two weeks. Um, so it only counts for, it says here, so it only counts for brawlers above 500, so if you fall below that for some reason, that ain't gonna happen. So I, I really wish they'd just do the straight conversion of power points to coins. Like if you guys are looking to get the most coins if you've already upgraded everything, what you actually want to do is anytime you upgrade a brawler, you don't want to take the power points from the brawl pass or even spend them in the club shop because these tokens could be used for getting more coins which I, I guess is an end game goal which also brings me to the point of the trophy road here so I'm actually pretty confident I can easily hit 50,000 with the two new brawlers being introduced this season and it's like 80 credits is a pretty underwhelming reward for hitting such a significant milestone so I, I imagine they'll probably either change it to something more significant or just expand the trophy road in general I mean it makes sense if they plan to consistently add more brawlers over time anyway man how long has this video been going <laughs> there's just so much going on in this game right now I think I'm just gonna end it off here I mean I, I really like the um, direction the game is taking but for the general question of course should you get the brawl pass I, I like that they're adding blink to brawl pass because it gives you more discretion in what rewards you're choosing so let's have a look at that for a second so 2700 plus 1600 so let's see this 3000 4000 so they're giving you uh, roughly the equivalent of about it's it's a, it's a bit under 5000 without doing the actual calculation in my head so from the brawl pass alone you are getting roughly an epic a free epic skin but something else you will notice that is quite significant is that you'll notice they changed two spots with the bling. So then what happens to the first reward of the season? So if we go all the way back, season 17, there's no El Mayor Domo anymore. There's no tier one skin anymore. It's been replaced with bling. So instead of actually getting a skin at tier one now is the other significant change you, you're essentially just getting the blink to choose whatever you want to get which 
I, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I it's like I, I of course I'm gonna miss having the freezes Brawl Pass season one tier one skin to talk about, but I mean, you know, if maybe you want to get some pins or some sprays for some reason, because <laughs> I, I don't know, too many people enjoy the sprays too much, but you know, they're all right. But yeah, it's, it's interesting. I'm actually, if you guys wouldn't mind, I'd like to know what you guys think about that. Do you prefer having bling in the first tier of the Brawl Pass, or do you guys want to have a very interesting skin like El Mayor Domo at the front of Brawl Pass? Because I actually love El Mayor Domo as a skin. I think it's really cool, and I I can't talk enough about how much I like the uh, last season's theme. I just thought it was a lot of fun. The, the only other thing I can think to talk about for end of the video here is, you'll notice I have Detective Grey Noir, which if you remember from my last video, if you watch all of my Brawl Stars videos for some reason, as I said, I was kind of on the fence about buying him because I had Runaway Grey anyway, so then why did I end up buying him? There was actually this weird glitch, and I, I think there's still time if you guys want to look into it. You have to see if he's in your shop. If you buy... Detective Grey, and then you also buy Detective Grey Noir Edition, I believe you will get a thousand free bling, because in the shop, people were able to buy Detective Grey Noir Edition straight up, and I believe it was like for the same price as Detective Grey or something, so for the people that buy both, they wanted them to not feel like they're getting um, gypped. So they're essentially giving you some bling back, but it only lasts for like a week. So I'd recommend uh, looking up uh, Ray Brawl Stars' video on it because he explains it. And just like look at the post when he made it, because depending on when you're seeing this video, it, it may be already too late. I don't know why they're only doing it for a week. I, I think it has something to do with the shop because the bling that you get back isn't direct; it's an offer in the shop. So if if you wanna claim that you got to be pretty quick on that one guys so hopefully you have your bell on when you're seeing this video because you turned on notifications on my channel um yeah that i don't know i i think this is going to be a pretty fun theme i, I think the characters are fairly interesting i, I think hank is going to be very interesting but I, I can't really show much with him now because he's not in the game yet but yeah I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with brawl stars guys this video is way longer than i want it to be but how can it not when so much has changed um, and have I, have I ever been talked about all of this? I don't, I don't even remember when this happened. Player, I think Mastery started just before Season 17 starts. I, I think I've technically already talked about them, right? I hope I did, but I, I like them. <laughs> Believe it or not, guys, it, it's literally just more free rewards for, for playing the game. I actually did manage to hit the cap of 6,000 once. And may I admit, it's kind of a difficult feat. You, you really just gotta sit on the game for like... Mm, I'd, I'd say you could probably get like... A thousand points per hour, roughly. So There's really just like six hours of playing the game in one day. It's, you know, it's, it's a bit much. But it's certainly achievable. You know, it really depends on how much you win, too. So it could be like six to eight hours, or just depending on how well you're doing. And, you know, of course, you play, regular players always get to that limit, like, geez, the matches sure get hard at 800 trophies, and you keep winning and losing, and that takes more time, too, so it depends on a lot of things, honestly, but I think being able to show off, like, player titles and stuff in the game is also really cool and unique, so, yeah, that this is Brawl Stars right now, guys, um... If you've never played before and you're seeing this for the first time, again, I try to leave all links to stuff in the description, like the Brawl Stars videos on the new season and the actual game itself, so feel free to check it out. Uh, it's, it's a pretty passive game. Like I say, matches usually last like, I don't know, like two, three minutes. So, you know, if you're looking for something quick to do, it's be kind of fun. You don't have to dedicate six hours every day to playing <laughs> Brawl Stars. And, uh, hang on, I, I, I'm a bit tired, I gotta remember my spiel. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, make sure to hit that notification bell if you look forward to more of my content, which is either gaming or just really 
whatever I feel like uploading at the time. I haven't really had a great schedule so far, but I'm very busy and I have a lot of plans. But other than that, again, uh, feel free to let me know how you guys feel about Tier 1 of this season. I'm both melancholy and intrigued because, you know, I, I always thought uh, the Tier 1 skins were something to look forward to. I'm I'm kind of jarred that I didn't even realize at first that it just nothing was there because you know usually I buy the pass and I click on it and I was like wow you got the new skin and I don't know just just let me know what you guys feel about if you'd prefer just spending on whatever you want rather than just getting a unique season skin and of course comment anything else you want me to know about the new season or how you feel about the game or re really anything I mean, I mean I I can't regulate what you say down there you know freedom of speech and all that. It's, it's an AFGAP joke, by the way. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, make sure to uh, have a great day, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, probably. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>